Hello, my name is Kiriath, and today we're going to talk about Forge World's communication problem. So, you'll have probably noticed, looking around the old interwebs today, that there's something weird going on. A significant number of Horus Heresy products are now being shifted into last chance to buy on the Forge World website. Valrak did a video about it, I will link that video in the description below. He goes through some good possible reasons as to why this might be the case, and, very understandably, expresses his disappointment in this, because, I mean, it's the Horus Heresy. They are removing the upgrade kits for every legion, just about. We're talking shoulder pad, head and torso combinations. Torsos are being removed from... I think pretty much every legion. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, it could make sense, maybe, if some of the speculation is correct, but in the grand scheme of things, I've always been led to believe that Horus Heresy has been quite successful, it's been quite the big thing. So, to suddenly see a whole bunch of things that make the legions unique just being removed, just straight into Last Chance to Buy, that seems a little bit odd, especially when you consider that some of the things on the list for being axed, essentially, is the Space Wolf stuff, which is the most recent. I mean, Space Wolves have only had their shit for a short while, and now it's last chance to buy. Now, we've talked in the past, we're going to skip over the reasons to why this might be the case. Watch Valrak's video, he goes through a good couple of possibilities. Um, what we're going to talk about is the fact that we shouldn't really be having this discussion to begin with. So, a little while ago we had a, a chat about, you know, the possibility of your favourite army being axed, and that came off the back of the Elysian drop troops being being discontinued, being moved into last chance to buy, much like this Horus Heresy stuff is now. And I talked of the kind of unspoken contract you enter into when you start a hobby like this, that one day the company may well say, sorry, but that is no longer available, that's not a thing. I spoke of my own experience with the 13th company, where it just wasn't an army anymore. It's disappointing and it sucks. It does happen. But I think there's a a difference. Maybe a subtle difference, but a difference nonetheless, between, for instance, the Elysian drop troops being discontinued and this Horus Heresy stuff being discontinued. And the way I'm looking at it is, the Elysian stuff is relatively old at this point, and it is a it's a very niche thing. Um, in terms of Imperial Guard armies, and in terms of Imperial Guard regiments, the Elysians are, like, way out of left field. You know, they are drop troopers. They are not your standard, typical Astro Militarum force. They've been around for a while, and with the shift into 8th and all that kind of thing, I can, you know, I can easily see the popularity of that regiment dropping to the point where it's simply not worth continuing with manufacturing for Forge World. I can see that. An army of that age and of that particular speciality when you compare it to the stuff that Games Workshop already offers, I can see the sense in that being discontinued even if I don't like it. I can see the sense in that being something that is down for being stopped. Not saying it's the right way to do it, and that an explanation wouldn't be appreciated, but I can at least look at that and say, okay, yeah, I can see why that would be. When it comes to something as big as the Horus Heresy, something that Games Workshop and Forge World have pushed as heavily as the Horus Heresy, when it comes to things that they've introduced only in the last couple of months, to suddenly have all of that stuff just gone, that's a different that's a different ball game. That's not the same. Forge World have, for a long time, provided products that you can use in 40k that are not available from Games Workshop. It's like almost like an extended shop, if you will. And with the sort of uh, creation of the Horus Heresy game itself, the system itself, and the massive number of products that Forge World shifted into producing for that system you would think that there would be some sort of longevity to that, and you would think that there would be some sort of communication to go along with it. After all, this is... It's not some minor thing. It's not like an add-on, if you will. The Elysians, if you're going to classify it in kind of just simple terms, I would classify it as an add-on to Imperial Guard. It's the same with Death Corps of Krieg, although Death Corps of Krieg obviously sell so much better than Elysians, it's untrue. Um, which is no doubt a factor as to why Elysians are being dropped, because Death Corps just obliterates them, I would imagine, for sales. 
Horus Heresy isn't just like an extra thing. It's not just an extra unit you can buy. It's not just a subset of an existing army. It's an entire system in and of itself right now. It has units that you cannot use for anything else. It has models that do not apply to Warhammer 40,000. It has stuff in there that is absolutely exclusive to that system and cannot be used anywhere else. It is nothing like the Elysian Drop Troops. They are just another form of Imperial Guard. You know, they, they're applicable to 7th, applicable to 8th, all of that shit. The Horus Heresy is its own standalone product. It is its own thing. And, as I said before, I've been led to believe it's quite successful. You'd think it would be, given the sheer number of vehicles, characters. I mean, hell, in the last couple of months, we've had... Well, in the last couple of weeks, we've had the release of Alpharius. And now you cannot buy the upgrade sets to make Alpha Legion look like Alpha Legion. Or at least you can right now because they're last chance to buy, but once that goes, you're shit out of luck. Why? I mean, you, you're releasing the, pri you've re <laughs> like the Primark for that lesion is now available, but the parts to make those Space Marines look like Alpha Legion aren't? I mean, not that long ago we had Constant and Valdor come out as well. This is clearly something that's still supported. This is clearly something that there is still some sort of interest in. So, what the hell is going on? Like, why is all this stuff just being shunted into Last Chance to Buy with no warning, no build-up, no sort of explanation? I mean, at the heart of it, to be honest, all the speculation is all very well. And it's, it's always kind of interesting and fun to speculate about what could be, about why decisions are made. But in some situations, and this I think is a prime example of one, we shouldn't be sitting here speculating, because we should just know. You cannot simply ditch a shitload of stuff for something you've pushed this hard for this long, and say nothing about it. Even if this is some sort of build-up, right? Even if, say for instance, this stuff goes last chance to buy. And then, in a couple of months, Games Workshop are like, you can buy all of this stuff in plastic from us cheaper. Now, that would be grand. That would be great. I would love that. But they should have said that before. Because what you're actually doing right now is you're not building up hype. You're not getting people excited. You're not getting people like, oh, what could it be? Instead, people are going, what the fuck is this? What is this? Why can I not buy this anymore? Why have you stopped doing that? There's no kind of... There's no looking to the future to see what they could possibly do next. Instead, it's just a general wave of people asking, what the fuck is going on? And I can't blame them in this case. I cannot blame them in this case. When it comes to, you know, when it comes to the Elysians, they are the best example of a recently kind of a last chance to buy situation from Forge World. You know, an entire line just being discontinued. I didn't look at that and think, why? Why has there been nothing said about this? Instead, I looked at it and went, they're getting on a bit. They're probably not very popular, especially given how often you see Deathcore stuff crop up. It's like, people obviously have a preference, and Elysian Drop Troops are not that preference. Not saying they're not good, but they're obviously not at the forefront of people's imagination when they think about Imperial Guard. The Horus Heresy stuff, it's, it, it's just... If you're going to stop support for a significant chunk of what makes up your catalogue for a system, that is where you need to say something. Not when you kill off a, a model line going back years that no one is really interested in until it turns out it's being cut off. When it comes to something as big and as complex and as popularised as the Horus Heresy, just saying, hey, it's last chance to buy, off you go, that's not sufficient in any way. Now, if it if they do plastic versions of this stuff, great. But they should have said something. If they have no intention of releasing this stuff ever again, that sucks, and they should have said something. If they're shifting focus from the Horus Heresy entirely, and they are focusing on specialist games, and the Horus Heresy, its development and the models coming out for it are going to slow massively, again, that's probably not great for the people who play it. But they should say something about it. 
Games Workshop has got so much better at communication, it's got so much better at interacting with the community, telling us what's happening, telling us why things are happening. It's had so many amazing initiatives recently with bringing back old models and, you know, doing reruns of older stuff and allowing people to buy those models that they used to want to buy or maybe misplaced or they just see it and they go, that is a piece of nostalgia I want to own. Even down to Forge World itself, with that ugly ass land speeder. I still like it. It's hideous. I like it. Um, but that is a case of them taking something from the past and going, people liked this. We should do something for those people. The the contrast between that and, oh, all the Horus Heresy upgrade kits are gone. Fuck you. It's so, it's so bizarre. And it's... It's frustrating because it sets back what we're getting used to now. The fact is that right now I'm used to getting good information from Games Workshop. I'm used to getting, you know, a, a, a constant stream of new releases, most of which are pretty good. I'm used to the communication. I'm used to the, the, the Warhammer community site telling people what is going down. I'm used to the Facebook page telling people what's going down. Just ditching support for a huge swathe of Horus Heresy release stuff without saying anything is not great when you're trying to correct years of terrible communication. Now, I realise that Forge World and Games Workshop are not strictly... They don't operate exactly the same. They should do, because they're the same fucking company. But Forge World has always been a bit quieter, has always been a bit less communicative. That needs to change. If you're going to cut off support for a bunch of models, or a bunch of upgrade parts, or replacement parts, or whatever, from a system that is almost entirely reliant on you, you need to say why. If you're going to make it so that you cannot make your legions fully customised as those legions, you need to say why. If you're gonna fuck around with the Horus Heresy stuff, where Forge World is the prime destination and the only place to get these sets, and the only place that supports the fucking game, outside of a Contemptor and a few different types of uh, Dreadnought that you can get from Games Workshop, yeah, you can get the Marines as well, but again, we're talking upgrade cuts, we're talking stuff to make this fully a force of White Scars or Raven Guard or World Eaters or whatever the hell. You gotta fucking say. You can't just stop and do nothing. Now, if we see an announcement over the next couple of days saying this is why this has happened, this is our plans for the future, I'll be over I'll be overjoyed. I'll be happy about that because that's something that needs to be done. If it's radio silence and like two months down the line someone says, Oh yeah, well actually we were doing it because we're gonna shift support over to Games Workshop. Okay, but you should have goddamn said something a lot earlier because it's just this is a very interactive community. Everyone talks to each other. Everyone discusses this hobby. Half the fun is discussing the hobby. You do immeasurable damage to yourself and to those who wish to support you by just going, yeah, last chance to buy, and then saying nothing about it. You've got to communicate better than that. It has to be done, otherwise you end up losing people. People lose faith in what you're doing. They lose faith in your decision-making process. Hell, even if it was just a case of them saying, I'll be honest, this just don't they just don't sell. They just don't sell. You'd think they would, but actually, people focus more on getting the plastic moons from Games Workshop, and they either get heads or they get shoulder pads. And so the full upgrade sets with the torsos are just not worth making. Tell us that. Tell us that. And then we can go, okay. Okay, that's a shame, but I understand. Don't just cut it off. Don't do that for something like the Horus Heresy. It's it's baffling. It's genuinely baffling because Games Workshop have made such strides. They've got so much better at communication. They've got so much better at explaining themselves, saying what they're doing. Their, their releases tend to be pretty fucking good. You know, how they interact with this community tends to be pretty fucking good. The community team have worked miracles in taking them from a zero online presence like Monolith from the 1980s and propelled them into having a proper thriving community site. And then stuff like this happens where you have a dedicated system for something as big as the Horus Heresy and half the shit just disappears and there's no word about it. 
just don't do that. Just don't do it. Anyway, that got very ranty towards the end, didn't it? Thank you very much for watching. What do you reckon is the cause of this stuff? Like, why are they stopping this? Why is it last chance to buy? There's a link in the description so you can see what all this stuff is, obviously. Um, yeah, I'd be interested to hear what you think. And do you think they ever will communicate a bit better? Or is that just me being incredibly hopeful for something that will clearly never happen? <laughs> I really hope that's not the case, but... Who knows? Who really knows? Thank you very much for watching. As always, there's things to click there, and there, videos, page, subscribe, all that shit. Click it if you like, don't click it if you don't want to, and I will see you for the next video. Toodaloo.